Hello there. Only one Kenobi here. Only one. And this video, I would like to talk to you about the symbiosis between Retro Collection and the Vintage Collection. This is how I collect, or how I've decided to uh, display my, you know, retros and vintage. Basically, I put them side by side. This room here, check this out, look at all this. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> going through ch I'm going through changes. So basically the floorboards are up, I'm getting new electrics and stuff done, but I couldn't wait to do this video. This is gonna be my carded room, basically. It's not that big, it's a very small box room. I'm even considering, now call me crazy about this, this is an idea I've had. I was gonna get blinds in here, this is temporary, this loaded look at that i've even put that there to stop light seeping in it's messy isn't it man i was thinking about getting blinds in here which means that this space here is then available could get a row of figures there maybe not on that one there definitely here alongside these um, but also i was actually having this as a thought maybe right i was thinking of because i want to block the light out and i want actually would like some more wall space there's two things i want so how about if i get some sort of piece not permanent something that I could hang, slot it so it covers the wall, the window even, and then it provides me with another space to put my figures. So technically I would have in here one, two, three, four walls to display stuff. I don't know, let me know your thoughts on that. I told that, said that to my father and he thought I was a bit crazy. He's like, what, 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 you know, why would you do that? <laughs> um, you know, blocking out the light, but that's what you've got to do. You Only a collector would understand that because you can't have natural light on these things. So, let's get back onto um, point here now. What I'd like to do is show you all my retros to date. We've had two waves, that is 12 figures. They are in here somewhere. This is my vintage collection. I have no 80s stuff in here. This is all 2010 onwards, but inside here are the retros and I put them side by side. I've long been a fan of the idea of doing that. See that there? Just like Jeff's Museum does, every variant of that card together. I preferably have all my figures, as you can see, this is all Return of the Jedi. Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, A New Hope, and some more Empire here. In fact, no, that's my Empire. The only reason you've got Empire there is because I wanted to just get a string of Fets and a string of Vaders. So, that's the, way, that's the way I've got it. In the other room, as you know, through there, there is another room where I have my loose collection. Check it out, man. This is just parked here temporarily while I find a home for my vehicles, but still, so let's go find them. Let's go find the retros. And there is one right up there. And they look pretty cool side by side. Can't remember the VC number for Vader. There is his vintage counterpart. Before I move on, in fact, now I'll talk about what I was gonna say at the end. Two Tarkins, awesome. And then we have two Stormtroopers. That's what we need, you see. That best been place that they've announced, another Stormtrooper, which is a good Stormtrooper, because it will be the same one as the Rogue One, no doubt. I, I think it is. I really wanted them to re-release that on this car pack, because we're missing that. Much as I've said this 20,000 times, much as I love George Lucas, I don't want to see his face there. I want to see a pure Stormtrooper on a pure Stormtrooper card, end of. Just like that is. That's the retro, or the vintage recreation. What else have I got? Aha, next door neighbor. I've got retro and vintage layer. And here, two farm boys. Hang on, there's a bit of glare on the screen there. Let me just, shadow is popping up. But it's cool. Speaking of farm boys, we could do with an update of a modern farm boy, but I just love seeing them side by side. Stickers, I don't mind them. I wish they were smaller, but I like them. I don't love them, <laughs> but I don't mind them because I've never minded stickers. In fact, sometimes I have searched or specifically wanted a car pack with a sticker on. For example, I used to have a play in Bespin Cloud Car Pilot, but I actually, I switched it, man. I wanted one like that on the wall. So there you go. Sometimes they set the card off, a bit of character. But yeah, I do agree with you all. These are a bit oversized. And as for the, I'm getting onto it now. I was going to save it to the end. As for this damage, fake damage to the rustic, whatever you want to call that on the side. If I was working for Hasbro and I was coming up with the retro flash, I would not have done it. He wouldn't have had that with me if I was the 
uh, whatever the decision maker there why have they done it but since it is there it, it does give it a little bit of character and it makes that line stand out so fair enough I can understand it and I can live with it but man it would not have been my choice moving on pan across look at that I love this see two hands modern and young and old but it's, it's ironic this guy is the newest of the two but he's the oldest in the look you know what I'm saying cool and then we have two Chewbacca's. Notice that I haven't put the VOTC Chewbacca with him, with these two, because that would not, <laughs> that would not suit it, because it has an ROTJ badge on. Where is he? There he is. You could have him next to them, and it might look all right, but I just want to keep all New Hope together in one section there. What else have we got? If they continue the retro collection, I'd love them to do the next few in that first wave, as in the R2, the 3PO. What else have we got to show you? That is it. Should have really pre-prepared this video. And... <laughs> Alright, I'm back, y'all. So basically, I've taken these two off the wall. Uh, these are spare, because what I was doing was, when I was adding the retro collection that I received in wave two of it, the Empire wave, I had to move things around. So these have just come off the wall to make space for the new stuff. And I was going to put new pegs or whatever on the wall, as you can see how I hang them. Well, I've used drafts, I've used Lego, check out my other videos for that. But anyway, these are going to go back up. But I've just taken these two off for a minute while I show you this new partnership. Boom! We have Lando Calrissian. Come on, focus, man. What's going on? There you go. Sorry about the weight. He actually doesn't look as yellow there. But this figure here goes very... Well, it's blue plastic, but when plastic yellows... Usually it's white stuff, the yellow, but that's obviously goes a yellowy color. And when blue and yellow mix, you get green. So some of these figures can be very dodgy. My loose one of him is terrible, but he should have been brought out this year. An update of him in the vintage collection, maybe with the best bin, the uh, carbonite set, who knows? Let's go down. Let's look, this is the new stuff now, the stuff I've just acquired. And I've put it side by side with its modern counterparts. So we've got v yeah, VOTC Yoda on the left. And the new retro one on the right there. They seem to match well enough. Next, of course, we have Echo Base, not Echo Base Han, Hoth Han. Bosk's Bounty was saying that he wished he'd had that car back in the retros, which is fair enough. It would be cool actually, Tim, but anyway, I wouldn't say no to this because we haven't had anything since that. So it's just, you know, again, look at that. They match really well, look at that. I'm having trouble focusing, there you go, look at that. It's great, I love that, multiples. And then, look at this row, I've got a serious row of Espen Fatigues now, and it's all cut off with this new one here. So they go nicely in a row. So Espen Fatigues Retro, and then I've got all these VCO4s. So that's VCO4 Standard, VCO4 Silver, VO, not VOTC, that's a Vintage Saga Collection Luke, which is a, a pretty bad looking figure. And that's a yellowing bubble, look at it, can you see it? Um, you're not seeing anything because it wasn't focused, there you go. And what else was I gonna say about this dude? I passed, I missed an opportunity on eBay to get one of these that were unpunched with one of these stickers on. Oh, ah, <laughs> gutted. So that would have been nice, I would have, that would have been a nice variant. Speaking of Jeff's Museum, he has lots in a row like that. Let's go down now, look at this, I've got three now. Hoth Echoes. Echo Base, whatever, Hoth Outfit layer, sorry, though, you've got the original release, VCO2 from 2010. Then you've got the re-release, 2019, I guess, was it, or 2018? I can't remember. And then this one here now, the retro collection of which, thank you for your feedback on that. I thought she looked iffy, even though I didn't own her as a kid. I have seen vintage layers. She don't look right, man. Dodgy. So that's that. And you've got other stuff, but that's not retros, it's just like other stuff here. Um, so let's go find in some more, man. What else have we got? I think I've done them all. I should have really been counting this. Let's go over here. What have we got? Yeah, Boba Fett. So there he is. As you know, over here, I have the rocket firing one. The reason he's over here on his own is because he has got the Star Wars chase badge on, you see. Um, so I don't want him with these Empire ones. Good to see him amongst these other Empires. So, Retro Collection, VC09. Is it VC09? It is VC09. VC09 Silver Chase, VC09 Standard, 
VC09 standard. That's 2018 or 2019, I beg your pardon. 2010. So, there you go. That's the whole ball of wax. I don't think I've forgotten anything. Should we count them up? There should be 12 figures. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, ignore that. That was an extra, wasn't it? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Brilliant. Plus Tarkin, thirteen. Brilliant. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have enjoyed that. Can I please apologise for the technical situation there? The lighting's dodgy. I've got that light up there, which is not the brightest, so I brought that in. It meant there was gleam and glare and focus is coming in and out, but man, you get the idea. No frills, just bring it on. I just wanted to talk to you about the retros and how I collect, and this is this room here. Sorry about the mess, but you know, things are getting better and better all the time as the lockdown or whatever helps me sort my life out here this has been only one kenobi oh if you have enjoyed the video don't forget to like it subscribe to only one kenobi for more only one kenobi only one